Hi, Spencer Watts here, uh, 15 Day Snack Challenge, and we're in the thick of things. Um, <laughs> we've got a squeaky chair. It's okay. My grandmother's over. Grandma! Uh, so what's this, what's a good snack? Um, it, it could be anything and <laughs> popcorn is one of my favorite snacks. So this one's going to be super simple. Uh, but there's a twist that, uh, there's a twist at the end of this video. Okay. Get it together. Watts. Uh, so the first popcorn is pretty simple. The second popcorn is really kind of fun. Uh, so I call it like the five elements popcorn. I've made this before and it's just delicious. So I make make a spice blend, a spice blend first. Uh, anise seeds, you can have it powdered up or you can have it um, in a little seed form like this. I like it in a seed form because once in a while, pow, you get a blast of that kind of like toasted licorice feel. Um, coriander seeds, really nice, light, fragrant. Um, and delicious. So an equal balance of the anise seeds and coriander, um, about a teaspoon of each. Uh, cumin, delicious, uh, but it can be a flavor of invasion. So you just want to like kiss it a little bit. Uh, some fennel seeds, so you can have it ground up, but again, like the anise seeds, I like it when it's whole because once in a while you get it and it just pops and you get a really nice licorice feel to it. And cinnamon! Again, it's like the cumin. It's a very intense flavor, so just a little shot of cumin. And to spice it up, this is togarashi. It's like a Japanese spice blend. It's got a little bit of sesame seeds in it, uh, but it's got a nice heat to it. And uh, black pepper. And then I put the salt on the popcorn, uh, but this needs a little sugar. One second. Just to sweeten it up a little bit because I love the balance of sweet and salty. So like a teaspoon, or a little more than a teaspoon of brown sugar, and that's it. This is a really nice spice blend. Get your hands in there, mix it all up, and you don't want to use a lot. You just want to like a little sprinkling on the popcorn. It smells crazy fragrant, and it's delicious on popcorn. And so you got a choice when you have popcorn. You can use butter. You need fat of, of some kind. So this is just fresh popcorn that I just made, and. So I'm gonna use duck fat. Duck fat is delicious. If you don't have duck fat, you can use a little bit of chicken fat. If you don't have chicken fat or duck fat, this powdered stock with a little bit of butter is gonna take care of all of that. But I have some duck fat, always got duck fat laying around, and just like a nice glistening of the duck fat. And then a little pinch of smoked sea salt. You don't have smoked sea salt, you use regular sea salt. And than the five element spice blend. Don't go too crazy with it because it's got this huge pox of fennel and anise. It's just like a little glaze of the spice mix. And it smells crazy already. The duck fat in there is super incredible. And then that little bit of spice blend, the warm popcorn and the butter, that's kind of like a gnarly version of popcorn. And it's perfect. Okay, see? And at the bottom of the popcorn ball, there's all this flavor and duck fat. That's really delicious. Don't forget to get that on there. And that is one popcorn done delicious. I'll leave it there so you can see it. The smell of duck fat is incredible. And then popcorn number two is truffle parmesan popcorn because it's just delicious. That's pop popcorn. And you can use whatever fat that you want. Um, you can use, sometimes I've used coconut oil before, uh, like a light uh, grapeseed oil, olive oil, but I have truffle oil, uh, which is really nice and it's big and it's bold. So just a little bit of, of the truffle oil. It's a pretty intense flavor. So you don't want to go too crazy with the truffle oil. And then I cut in some melted butter. It's a little bit of melted butter and the truffle oil. The truffle oil is going to give it that kind of nice earthy scent. And then you want a ton of Parmesan cheese, like way too much Parm. You can grate your own. I love this powdered stuff because it sticks to the butter and the truffle oil really well. And you don't want to be shy on that. And it's kind of got a little salty kick to it, but still a little bit of salt. You're in heaven. It smells delicious. Truffle, 
butter, parmesan, and even at the end, scoop it out. And then I even put just a little bit more parm on the top. Okay, two popcorns. <laughs> They're my favorite. The duck fat, five elements, and then the truffle parmesan popcorn. But hey, I want you to comment on this. I want you guys to send me the craziest combination of popcorn flavors possible. And I'm gonna pick one that I think is outrageous, but will also work. And that person's gonna get a prize. I won't tell you what that prize is. I'm just gonna send it to you and I'll let you know who the winner is. Okay, I gotta watch a movie. We just queued up Jurassic Park 3. It's horrible, but the popcorn's delicious. Just kidding, I love that movie. See ya. Talking about freedom. It's the best show in town.